Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Just want to show you guys some updates on the snake. So this is Mountain Dew. This is a almost three year old green anaconda. And she is phenomenal. She's super sweet, super docile. She's kind of small for her age because we had some issues uh, when she was first growing up. Uh, she couldn't keep food down. And uh, took her to the doctor, gave her a bunch of medicine and she's doing very, very well. Kind of feed her later on today. But her colors are gorgeous. I was gonna show you Pop-Tart, the bigger female, but thankfully, she's in shed. So she's definitely growing. That last large guinea pig has put her into a growing spurt, which is really nice. And uh, it's nice when I have more than one anaconda. So if one's in shed, I can actually hold the other one and interact with them. So I probably interact with the anacondas a lot more than the other snakes because the other snakes are pretty tame and they're just more used to, I would say, being handled like the ball pythons don't really have a problem. Most of the boas don't have a problem, but the anacondas, when they get bigger, I just want to make sure that they are friendly. We don't have any problems. So this is female number two. I do have a male, Oliver, and I might get him out or show you guys. He is a little over a year old and the bigger anaconda, which I know you've seen on the channel before, She's probably around nine feet now, and she's about four years old. So definitely not pumping them full of food, as you can see, giving them plenty of time to digest and grow naturally. I have no uh, real intentions of, you know, uh, having snakes that are gonna reach 13 feet by two years old because they'll have a bunch of organ problems and then they just die early. So. So I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful lady. I have not shown her in quite some time. And uh, so normally what I found out is that they get pretty long for the first couple of years and then they start getting on their mass. So in the first year or two, uh, they definitely grow pretty long. And then around age three, I've noticed, obviously depending on how you eat, feed them. Um, and then they're starting to get their mass. So. Gonna put her back and then I'll show you guys what's going on with the uh, other snakes. All right, we'll get out one of the boas. So this is an IMG Motley Hypo Jungle. This is Het for Snow, which is really cool. And this girl, I got her when she was not quite a baby, but probably around eight months or so. She's growing nicely. Really cool colorations on the belly, but a super dark, dark snake. And I really like the IMG stuff. Um, and then I like a lot of the other combos that are mixed in with it. So it's not an all black snake. You can definitely see the patterns on her, but just a phenomenal looking animal. And I think IMGs are one of the best looking boas. Although I would say that it would be a good comparison between these, the snows and the moon glows, which are on the total opposite side of the spectrum. But if you want a very, very dark snake and you have a thousand dollars or so, I'll look into just a basic IMG because they do get darker than this one and they basically almost, almost solid black. But just want to show you how uh, some of these boas are doing. They're doing very well. We have kind of gotten off to the trail of the ball pythons on the channel. When I first started the channel, all I had was boas, but they're all doing very well. And on the opposite side of the color spectrum, we have the moon glow, which is gorgeous. Really pretty snake, growing very nicely. Colors have changed a little bit since she was a baby. Kind of hard to get the colors on camera since they're so bright white and you can kind of see some of the patterns on her. But I would say the moon glows, the snows, uh, and the IMGs are probably my favorites. I'm not really a big fan of the IMGs being put into the snows and the moon glows. It does brighten it just up a little bit, but overall, I don't think you can really tell that big of a difference, but I haven't seen one in person. Maybe it's different on person than uh, on camera or on the pictures of Morph Market, but beautiful snakes. And again, this does have the albino. She has both eyes, which is really nice. Anything that you breed albino to, or albino and albino, or head albino and head albino, you will always get the risk of potentially having babies with one eye or a bug eye. And when it works out, it's great. But then you have the bad side of it as well. So, 
And then we have this little male right here. So this is a snow, a little bit of a different color scheme than the moon glow. So it's the albino and the Anne Regine. And then the, um, the moon glow has a hypo in it. So this, so this one has one less gene. You can see kind of on the patterns and the colorations that the lighting is picking it up. You can see just a little bit difference on them. These ones get a, look, a little bit more yellowy while the moon glows stay more whitish. Uh, so I don't know why the snows are more of a yellowy color. You think the snows would be the whiter one, but I don't know who named them, <laughs> but I probably would have named them the other way around. So quick update on him doing very well and he has both eyes. So we'll look at some other ball pythons right now. And this girl is gorgeous. This is an orange dream fire clown. Beautiful colorations, beautiful markings on her. And I like the white belly and how the white goes up into that really nice reddish brown on her. If we can see the marking on her head, which is phenomenal. Really, really pretty snake. And excited to see how this one's going to age because we all know ball pythons fade out on their colors as they get older. But having the fire in her should definitely hold the color just a little bit more. And I have a lot of fire stuff, which is really good. Um, so a lot of the babies that will be produced will hopefully get that carried over. They stay brighter. They look a little bit better as babies. And this is a vanilla spot nose clown. It's a male. So the vanilla kind of does the same thing as the fire. It's a, uh, an enhancer for the colors. But what's really cool is you can combine fire and vanilla. And I think it's called the scream or the cream. Um, so they, they're compatible and they look really, really awesome together. If you put fire and fire together, you just get an all white snake, which is cool. But if you have a lot of combos going on with it, you really wouldn't know what's happening in that snake because it's all white. So the snake, so this is a chocolate leopard clown, super bright snake, really cool. I love the chocolate stuff, really cool markings on the stomach and really excited to uh, start putting him to some of the females and seeing if I can get some cool chocolate combos. I have a lot of leopard stuff too. I'm a big fan of leopard and I'm a big fan of the Batman, which is what I have right here. So the Batman is the spot nose leopard clown and this one is a possible red stripe. Red stripe can be very difficult to tell uh, in a snake unless it's like actually very pronounced. But until the uh, shedding genetics uh, has red stripe, I'm just gonna say it's a possible might figure it out later uh, in a breeding process, but not 100% sure on that. Gorgeous animal. I know these were like the pinnacle snakes to get like whenever they were produced four, five, six years ago. The pricing on them has come down drastically, so they're much more affordable. Uh, you just have to hit all three combos, which could be a little bit difficult uh, on the odds. But this girl just shed out, so it's an Enchi Clown Pied. So if you like clown and pied, why not get one with the same jeans? And it's got Enchi, so it's got the really nice uh, pattern on it. The color is a little bit more orangey. And then it kind of uh, brings the pattern up just a little bit on the, uh, on the top of them. But beautiful snake. Really excited for her for the future. And the breeding process is not going as expected. I've had a ton of locks. And... No ovulations, so one of the males that's been getting it done consistently is this Orange Dream Leopard Enchi uh, Pied. Every time I put him in with the, uh, the, the regular pied female, they lock up, and they've locked up multiple times. The female is still eating. She actually ate today. I was told when the female's eating, you know, it's probably not a good sign that they're, uh, you know, making eggs. So that's a bummer but we're still gonna be uh, trying them out. I've not seen any locks from you know, the other pieds that I have together. This is an albino pied, it's a female. Really, really pretty snake. I got two of these, two females. So in the future, I'll get a male uh, and then we can make some awesome combos on, on those. 
So the males that's not doing anything is this mahogany pied, and she's, he's with a black pastel pied. I've seen no locks, the females eating, so I don't know what's going on. And they're all of weight, they're all over 700 grams. I mean, technically they only need to be above 500, but the females are 1800 grams, almost 2000 grams. This is a big, big mama right here. Well, not mama yet, but big lady black pastel pied. And she is, well, not doing anything. I could put the orange dream leopard and she pie to her, but I know the black pastel makes things very, very high white. So I don't know if adding any of that stuff would lose color, lose pattern or anything like that. I really want the mahogany stuff in there. So I don't know what's going on. So that's updates, no ovulations, which is a bummer, but I'll just keep pairing them up through, through uh, the spring. We'll see what happens. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. And um, oh, this girl just shut out right here, which is really pretty. So ivory, enchi, pied, black eyes, really cool pattern on the head if you can see her. So this is the thing that's not the greatest with the ivories. So it's a super yellow belly, uh, super difficult to tell what's in these snakes. So you can put four or five genes in here. Very difficult to see. Um, but again, there's a shed genetics is out on a lot of this stuff. So I'm trying to stay away from making ivories. I got a lot of yellow belly stuff. Just to, I mean, a lot of people like the ivories. I like one, I bought it. So like the yellow belly stuff. So this orange dream yellow belly and cheap hide, gorgeous snake and you know, you, I, I like to see all this stuff. I, I, you know, orange room would fade out and she would fade out and all that stuff. So it's just difficult and adding leopard and everything else would be, I don't know. It'd be a cool project for breeding, I think, but for actually like, um, looking at them, you don't know what's going on with like, kind of like with a fire. So, or the super fire. So there's a fire. Um, what is this? So Orange Dream, yeah, Orange Dream Enchi Fire Pied, gorgeous female. I got a lot of fire stuff, so it's going to be passed around and a lot of babies. And that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Quick update. I know I've been posting in a while, um, and I'm going to be feeding everything else. So I know you guys like the feeding videos, and you guys will see that. Just want to give you a quick update on what's going on. No eggs, no ovulations, but we're still trying. Um... And we'll just hope for the best. So that is it. Thank you guys for the, uh, for the support watching the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.